Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the conclusion of the text RPG. So what I have here is a finished text RPG that I've kind of walked you through. This has been totally like no script. I've just been coding it going. So we'll see if any bugs occur and we'll fix them. This is a great way to practice bug fixing using the console debugger in Python and showing you how to fix bugs so your game actually works. So let's run Python 3 game. And we see that in game.py at line 98, we have invalid syntax, curse syntax error. So this is really easy. Let's just go up to line 98 and check out what's wrong. So here we have a description equals description. So this is a syntax error. Why? Well, we didn't put commas after any of these things I bet is the issue. So just go through and add commas to everything. This might feel a little mundane, so I can speed up the video here, but this is a real world issue. All right, now that you fix your first bug, let's save by doing Command S or Control S on Windows and try running this again. Hmm, so we still get the same issue. So the issue is actually the question mark here. Oh, you know what it is? See how this zone name has this e uh, colon sign? I just did a brain fart. It sh all of these should be colons. So I'm gonna speed up the video again and fix these issues. All right, so now that those bugs are fixed, let's give it a try again. That was a dumb mistake. So now we have another bug issue. File game.py, question three, welcome. Player name, the job. So it's saying that we have an issue going on with this new line issue in question three. So let's check it out. We forgot to add a plus sign here. If you don't have a plus sign here to join that, then it's just kind of floating in space and nothing will work. So we have for character in speech three, we didn't put a colon or we somehow deleted it. So that will not run then. And it works. It's, you know, space weirdly, but it works so we can fix that. All right, well, we're just leaving it like this. Uh, there's different things you can use for console to center text or manipulate it in the console, but this is very bare bones. So welcome to the text RPG. Now let's play it. And nothing happens. Okay, why is that? So let's check play. Play goes to start game. Let's check our start game function using a command F, start underline game. And start game just returns nothing, so that's an issue. So let's see what start game should actually do. Start game should actually probably just be setup game. Let's remove that. Change this to setup game and try again. And now you might be thinking like, why didn't I go through and fix all of this initially? Well, this is supposed to be a very beginner tutorial and I wanna give you that personal feeling of Bugs happen to everyone. Like I'm making this tutorial, bugs happen out of laziness or just I'm roasty with Python and that's totally okay. What's important is that you learn how to fix them. You can debug them easily without getting stuck or frustrated and that's totally normal in code. So let's try writing a game again. Play and we get a traceback call error. The name start game is not defined. That's because we didn't change it here. Set up game. Let's see what else is maybe the issue. Did we leave start game anywhere? Nope, so let's try that again. Save, go back to console, run the game, play. There we go, our game's working, sweet. So we have, hello, what's your name? Brian. Hello, Brian, or er, what, what role do you wanna play? Okay. Warrior, priest, or mage, let's do warrior. That's what I've been saying I am. I'm now a warrior, sweet, Brian the warrior. Awesome. So we see that we had a type here when we probably shouldn't have, and it also gives you that weird no new line issue. So that's easy to fix. 
that's something that happens a lot with text RPGs, or you know, video games overall have spacing issues. So all of these need a new line following it. And the reason why we need a new line versus if we did say a standard print statement like here is because print statements in Python automatically add a new line, while when you assign it to a value like this and print it for character in the system style, it doesn't add a new line at the end of the statement automatically. If you're wondering about that discrepancy, that's just a kind of Python semantic thing. Some languages also in print statements don't add a new line, so don't rely on that too much. And here we prompt them again. So we don't need that at all. All right, let's uh, clear by pressing Control C on a Mac or some other option on a Windows. Run the game again, play. Hello, what's your name? Brian. Hello, what role do you want to play? Let's play Warrior. And note that I type capital in Warrior and it still recognizes it as a Warrior due to our case insensitivity code. And that ominous heh heh heh. And the game started, so we can uh, look. Oh, look, crashes. Okay, key error start. So let's find out why that crashes. Let's go to title screen, title screen selections, key error start. There is no location known as start. That's our issue. We never change that. Let's set the start zone to B2. Let's restart the game. I love this way this text prints kind of naturally. I feel like a lot of other examples don't use this. I'm pretty proud of making that. It just gives it a really nice atmospheric feel. So let's move uh, up. Player has no attribute position. Where did I type position? I am silly. Let's save that and let's find any more occurrences of it. Doesn't look like there's any more. Let's try this again. I'll speed through this process. Cool. So movement work. It says A2, it says description. It's not the prettiest looking thing, but you can always chain that. I've shown you how to. And it now asks, what would you like to do? So our game loop is finished. The game is playable. You can add whatever features you want. Hey guys, now that our main game loop is done, thanks for watching this tutorial. Sorry for the debugging going on a little long. It's just part of making a game, making any project in CS and Python, whatever you do. Bugs are going to arise no matter how well you think you can block them, counter them, how good of a coder you are. And I think it's really natural to see the debugging process because I don't want to give this tutorial, give you a starter file or something, and you feel lost being unable to debug. You try to add maybe combat functionality, everything's just throwing errors at you and you're totally confused. So hopefully with this little bit of debugging guide and just seeing me go through it naturally, you guys can also debug at this rate and make a really awesome text RPG. Hope to see you next time for the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Peace, guys.